What is up everyone on YouTube, and today we have another tier list. This time it's going to be for all the three star units in the game. I haven't actually made this tier list in a long, long time actually. So I decided why not, we're going to include units that are not also going to be specialty change. So it will be a little bit different because we have all the three stars, but let's actually just go through and go one by one and actually talk about where these units should be ranked within these four tiers. So starting off, I'm going to pick Aiden here. Uh, she is not used at all. It's not, you know, Light Eden or Savior Eden. It's just the base Eden, which you never see. So not used. Adley as well, never going to be used. I actually wish you got a specialty change. Adventure Ross. Now, Adventure Ross is a strong unit. People just kind of forgot about him because we have uh, Arrowell, another three-star knight, which is a little bit down this list. But he's still a very good knight. You can actually pair him with a damage dealer in the back line. And he has that single target barrier that's really, really good. He's also pretty decent in Guild Wars defense and even in offense. Uh, very underrated. You know, a lot of people think that he's not good anymore, but he's still good. He just has some other knights around him that are a little bit better. Inos. So Inos is a niche unit. She's going to be used mostly for cleavers, but very, very good there. Um, Inos 2.0, that is. Regular Inos is not really used at all. We have Ainz, not used at all either. Uh, Aether, main character of the game, also not good. You actually never use him, even in PvE, he's just terrible, and you get him at the beginning of the game. Alexa, not good at all. All-rounder Wanda, very good as an opener, very fast. You can actually use her in a cleave team or a speed team, so she's actually pretty niche. Next we have Amiki, she is a really weird unit, she has immortality, with like attack buff built in, she penetrates defense but doesn't crit, and if you penetrate defense and you don't crit, your modifiers are not crazy, you're going to be bad. And her modifiers are pretty bad, and she's a 3 star, so her stats are pretty low, so not used. Jug Montmorency, she is either strong or niche. I wouldn't say strong, actually. Um, I think, actually, I'll put her here, because I'm not going to lie, Like you can actually pick her pretty decently. Like She's not as good as other cleansers, because she's slow. But against super heavy debuff team, she's actually really powerful because she gets a lot of effect resistance for free from her skill tree. And in the early and mid game, she's actually a very solid soul weaver for your team, right? If you don't have a good soul weaver for PvP, such as, you know, like Rowana or just anything else, then, or even a cleanser like Meteor Tower Kep, she's pretty good. Uh, actually, I'll put her in niche because I think it's a stretch to actually say that she's, you know, OP. Regular arrow well, so without the specialty change, pretty bad. Azalea, also pretty bad. Basque, also terrible. Batiste, never really used anywhere either. Um, this guy, non-specialty change for him, also pretty bad. We'll put him down here. Camilla, PvE god, but outside of PvE, she is terrible. A Captain Rickerus, also a pretty bad unit. You're never going to really see him, except maybe for like Aslanak or Cades. Fire, Carmen Rose, pretty bad. Carrot, um, pretty bad as well. Uh, Celeste, she is niche as an opener as well, you can actually use her. Chaos Inquisitor, also pretty bad. Chaos Sect Axe, actually pretty good at dealing with light units, but you know, besides that, he's not really good anywhere else. You can use him in PvP for Guild Wars offense, but even then, pretty terrible. Christy, um, just keep in mind all the non-specialty change forms I'm putting in not used, because why would you use a unit that has a specialty change with her base form, right? Uh, so this guy also goes here because he has a specialty change, Chaos Sect Axe. Claudia, she has a pretty unique kit, but I'm going to put her uh, in this tier as well, where she's not used. Her kit is just super weird. She gets like, what is it, immortality and like, or not immortality, immunity, and also like healing to your team. Like you might as well bring like Angelica. She just does what Claudia does with better. Um, so I'm going to put her down there. Command of Arena, PvE God, right? Not going to be used in the PvP. Dollmaker, Pearl Horizon, same thing. Regular Doris, same thing. Eaton, actually a pretty good niche unit. You can actually use him in Guild Wars as like a meat shield because he actually is super, super tanky with his passive and a very, very good dark bait. Um, obviously, there's better dark baits in the game, but you can still use him as one if you really want to. Elson, terrible. Enoch, terrible. Ezra is actually pretty good. Um, you want to bring him with debuff teams though, and if you do, he's super powerful. He actually does like fixed damage based on the debuffs um, that the target has, so you can actually use him with like the debuff stacking team for Guilder's offense, and not bad. Falconer Clary, I think that she is niche or strong, I'd say, uh, mostly because of her resource reduction. Her buffs are actually very nice for her, and you can actually use her pretty well now. She doesn't do as much damage, obviously, because they removed it, but 
The fact that she can actually reduce resources makes her pretty good. Um, only thing is she's very stat heavy for a 3 star. And even though she does reduce resources, it's only by 40%, so it's not that great. But she does cycle very quickly, so you can actually use her. I did test her out, and she seemed okay. Maybe I'll make a video on her in the future. Glenn, uh, he has a specialty change. We'll put him down here. Gloomy Rain, not really used at all. Godmother, also not really used. Gunther, not really used. Hasol, um, good against counterattackers, actually. But besides that, not really anywhere else. I'll put her in niche. Hatan, not good. Hazel, not good. Uh, Helen here, not good either. Um, Helga, also very not good. Holy Flame Maiden, PvE. Harado is actually pretty niche. Um, you can actually use him in the early game as like a cleave opener. He has CR pushback and a dispel. He is not as good as some other openers, but we'll put him in niche tier because technically you can still use him. I actually did use him when I first started my account. Um, all these units, not that great. You know, Ian, Januta, Jet, Jenna in the base form. Judith is also niche. She's good in the early game with her CR push with her S3. Uh, next we have Juni. Not that great either. Kikarat, not that great. Kyrus, PV God, Clary, also not that great. Leia actually just came out, right? She's not that good either. Lena as well. Uh, Lilka, PvE unit, she's very strong for PvE, besides that, not really used anywhere else. Lorena, you know, Lucy, also not that great, mostly for PvE. Now we have Magic Scholar Doris. So Magic Scholar Doris is one of the best white baits, or not white bait, dark baits in the game, right? She baits dark units to hit her, she gets a lot of healing for your team, she starts pushes. I'm gonna put her in the strong tier just because she's pretty good there. Uh, Mascot Hazel is going to be PvE only unit. Melanie, not used at all. Mirsa and Helga, not used at all. Mirsa, pretty niche unit as well. You can use her as like an evasion unit. Um, you can use her in RTA actually, but she's kind of like a worse savior Aiden. So yeah, but you do build her very fast. So she can be very disruptive and one shot potentially. So we'll put her somewhere around here. I think she is somewhere around this tier. Misty Chain is a PVE unit. Regular Montmorency, no point using her. Muchacha, also not used. Muse Rima, very bad. Mui, Wyvern God. Nemunas, very bad. Orte. Honestly, people had very high expectations for this unit as like a speed you know, opener, but her base stats are terrible. You can actually not kill anyone, so we are going to put her down here. Uh, next, we have Otili. Otili. I'm going to put her down here as well. She's not really used. Pearl Horizon, same. Penelope is actually pretty decent. Resource reduction is, what, 100%. She has a stun, uh, which is very powerful. She can cleanse her team. The only thing is her stats are pretty low for a thief that wants to be tanky, so we'll actually put her in the niche tier. Uh, honestly, these two brothers and sisters, I'm not too sure what they actually really do. I know they pair together very well, so it's question marks, so I'm gonna just put them here. I guess I'll put them in niche, even though I'm not too sure how they are. I haven't tested them yet. Pillis, pretty bad. Regular Ross, pretty bad, right? Red Queen Moore, pretty bad. Researcher Carrot, I'm gonna put her safely in the strong tier. She's actually very underrated. There was a meta where she was super broken, but the meta and the power creep kind of just pushed her out. Honestly, she's a pretty good counter in Navy Captain Landing units like that because her burns trigger whenever she gets hit. So Navy Captain Landy counters her if she procs her salvo. That's two burns onto Navy Captain Landy potentially, which is pretty insane. Um, Righteous Thief Ruzid, pretty decent for early game cleave with his speed imprint. Same with Judith. Uh, usually you see them run together, so I'll put them together. Uh, Rickerus, pretty bad unit. Rima, um, you know, pretty bad because you know, her special change is bad as well. Uh, Ruzid, you know, specialty change unit, so you have to put her there. Savior Aiden, OP tier, hands down, very, very simple. She is super broken. Uh, she destroys like every dark unit in the game, super strong. Don't know, you know, how you actually really uh, play dark units into her, which makes her very scary. This Aiden for PvE. Shadow Knight Pillis, also OP, because she destroys evasion units, including Savior Aiden. She's the only dark unit that can actually deal with Savior Aiden, which is pretty funny. Uh, you put her on Rocket Punch Gauntlet, and she goes batshit crazy, so very strong. Shepherd Jenna, she was built as a cleaver with Frostbite, but she's pretty terrible. Silvertide Christy, pretty niche if you want to run an uh, effect resist comp with like Arya. She's pretty good there, but outside of that, she is not that great. Uh, she's She was pretty like bad with her specialty change. They could have made her a lot more better, a lot more fun, but they really missed the mark with it in my opinion, so definitely just niche for now. Sonya, PvE unit. Alexa, PvE unit. Suthan, PvE. Sven, terrible. Talaz, terrible. 
Talia, pretty bad. Terranor Guard, God tier PB unit. Terranor Royal Guard. So, Terranor Royal Guard is one of the best niche units in the game because you actually bring him into Earth units and Guild Wars, and he will just solo the enemy. A lot of the top Guild Wars uh, guilds actually use him a lot and have him built. So, he's a very strong unit. You definitely, I wouldn't say you definitely want to build him, but if you do want to compete in high Guild Wars and you fight against Earth teams or units with at least one Earth unit, he's basically a free win because he just tanks the damage and reflects it, which is insane. Sierra, terrible. Unbound Knight Airwell, probably the best 3 star in the game right now I'd say, I think it's something around this uh, because she has so much mitigation for her team which is insane. She has a stun, she has a barrier, she has escort, crazy crazy strong. Fire Aiden is, I think this is Fire Aiden right, Verdant Aiden, or it might be Earth. Anyways, not using PvE. Specialty Change Glen, pretty good with uh, Extinction, the only thing is there's just too many units with Extinction but he does technically have a niche. Wanda. Um, she has a special change, so we'll put it out here. Yoon Ryong, not that great either, and Zealot Carmen Rose used to be like OP a long time ago when the game first released, but now she is not seen either. So this is pretty much the final list for the 3-star PvP tier list. You can kind of see that there's not a lot of great 3-stars, and to be honest, outside of these top 3, probably the top 2 honestly, you're not going to really see a lot of these units anywhere. Sure, Shadow Knight Pillars gets played as well, but you need a plus 30 Rocket Punch Gauntlet, which is pretty sad. But yeah, this is my tier list for 3 star units for PvP, let me know what you guys think, if you guys want to see more content like this, please hit that subscribe button.